This focuses on the cell and developmental biology research theme. And here you will find that we have researchers who work on things from neurodegeneration to cancer to epigenetics to developmental systems and so there's a huge breadth of areas that you can choose within this research theme if you specialize in medical biosciences. We're looking at research in mouse models as how the different genomes affect the embryo size and how these embryos then later on can develop different types of diseases and growth patterns as they get older. We're also looking at neurobiology and cellular development. We're looking at zebrafish and we're using these as a model to, um, when we look at the early stem cells, how from the neurocrest these develop into pigment cells which eventually form the stripes of the zebrafish. And this tells us quite a lot about differentiation. We also look at other types of models where we look at when a cell is differentiated, for instance, to something like a liver, how we can then change its differentiation and maybe turn it into a pancreas or back into a, sort of a stem cell and we call this transdifferentiation and the mechanisms of this. This fits in with a sort of a general theme of regenerative medicine which there's a center of across the university of people interested in doing this type of research. We're also looking at how cells interact with their environments either through cell signaling or through epigenetic mechanisms. The work we do is also very strongly linked to cancer. And I'm fascinated by how genes know when to be switched on and when to be switched off. And where a gene, if its gene is placed somewhere in the genome, how the genes next to it know not to be switched on or not to be switched off.